Hi, it's Gwen Fox said, I am so glad that you are here. Now, I've been seeing a lot of flowers because guess what? It's going to be spring soon and people think in flowers. They're ready. It's been a cold, long winter and here in Taos, it has been extremely long and I think very cold, but the flowers are flat. The ones that I've seen are flat. And so it's figuring out how to make a flower have depth. And so I thought, I'm going to show you how to have depth. Because that, to me, is a lot of fun. And uh, why not? Let's, let's do that. But I'm going to demo that. But first, I want to talk about flowers in general. You know, you don't have to say, this is a tulip, this is a peony, this is a this. It's, it's okay to have a generic flower as long as it's exciting, as long as it's filled with uh, color and beauty and depth. And it's the depth that I'm seeing that is just not quite there. So how do you get depth? Well, one of the ways that I get depth is start with my darkest, darkest color. The inside, the shadow of a flower is going to have a dark color because it's in shadow. So if you do that first and then come over with lighter colors, then guess what? That really goes back the, the dark color goes back, the light color comes forward, and you have depth. It's very simple, but sometimes we forget simplicity is sometimes forgotten. So let's go, and I'm going to show you exactly how I do a flower, and I'm not saying it's going to be a good flower, I'm just saying I'm going to show you how to get depth. Now, the other thing that I want to emphasize is that a lot of times we want to paint the flower exactly the color that it is. Well, that's all well and wonderful, except when you step back, it lacks that luminosity. It lacks that, that exciting thing that you wanted to capture. And the reason is, is because you haven't exaggerated the color. You've got to exaggerate the color in order to get some real gorgeous, gorgeous colors going. I mean, like what I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using a deep, deep, light maroon for the inside. I'm going to be using a peach and a bright pink and a transparent orange and probably a cadmium orange all of these clashing colors, and I will put them on, and I will even blend them on the canvas because I get a really gorgeous color this way. So anyway, let's go see what we can come up with and get some depth and exaggeration of the flower. All right, I have my drawing here of a flower, just a, a basic, basic drawing. Uh, know that there's a there's a drawing underneath here, so you that that we're not going to pay any attention to that. This is just on a board that I'm going to use. So the flower is actually this right here, um, something like this. What kind of flower is it? You know what? I don't know and it doesn't matter. All right, now I have mixed several dark uh, colors and look how dark this is. This is this is going to be, I love the color, this is great. This is really pretty. Um, 
then I I just go into another color. It's just it is just still staying with the darks. Still staying with these darks. I have mixed in this a little black. This is oil. You can do the same thing with acrylic, watercolor, whatever you want. Now, I've got the inside of the flower here. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, some other colors and we're going to blend them. I, I'm going to, I'm a big, I love to, to just blend some colors. Okay, now I've got, I've got peach and I've got, okay. So I'm gonna take my squeegee. Do you see when you really, when you just put them on, it's really quite gorgeous in here, um, which I hope it doesn't have a glare and you'll be able to see all of this. Now, I'm going to add a little white up here. Now, I may have to go back in. I may want to take some of this up a little bit so that it shows a little bit more depth up in there. I like that. Now... This may be a little bit too dark up in here. So what do I do if that is indeed the case? I just merely come in and add some color on top. Now, because this is uh, going to be in shadow over here, my light's going to be there. I'm going to mix a little blue in here in order to exaggerate this color. Adding some, um, now the colors that I'm using, of course, are the oil colors, and this is Indian yellow, but that's also a color in acrylic. But you can see how I'm exaggerating this. Now, this, I think, what I want to do I don't want a round flower I, so I'm going to make sure that I have some angles I just like angles in, in a flower as well even though flowers are round I like to have it just a little bit different do you see how this is, this has depth because this is a brighter, lighter color on top of it. Now, um, you know, you can then, of course, come in and, and do some greenery uh, around it to make it realistic, shall I, shall I say. Um, And when I do the greenery, I make sure that I've got lots of 
other colors in here. I don't want to do just don't want to do just green, just a solid green. I want I want some other colors in there to indicate that there may be a flower. There's flowers, uh, you know, around it. Now, this isn't going to be a finished painting. I'm just kind of playing because it's kind of hard for me not to play. Now, there are times that what I do is take, uh, well, I could take this. I could take the end of my brush and I'll just go to mess it up just to make it a little bit more I don't know messy but then I can come in and I can cover up some of these lines that they're usually too many lines and so I do that there you go that's how you do the inside and cause depth and uh, I could take this further. I would take it further if it were a painting and so forth, a real painting. But this gives you an idea of exactly how you can do that, how you can have depth, and how you can then bring this forward so that then this looks deep and this looks like it's on top. So anyway, I, I hope this has helped because... This way you won't have flat flowers. You will have flowers that have personality and vibrancy and that are exciting. So now you know how to exaggerate, how to get the depth, to put that dark in the center. You know how to do that now. So what I want you to do is to go and do it. Practice on that. See what you can do. And don't feel like you got to do a masterpiece. That ruins it all if you do. You got to go play first. Go play. See if you can get some depth. Exaggerate your colors. And uh, I can't wait to see what you've done. And so be sure and leave a comment because I want to know. I want to know. After you've done this, come back to this, this video and let me know. Hey, it worked. Hey, guess what? I had mud. Whatever. I want to know. I love your comments. So anyway, I love you. We'll see you next week. Bye.